from days of long ago comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. Five fearless lion robots. Black lion. Green lion. Yellow lion. Red lion. Blue lion. Who together form Voltron. Lion sets each soul separately from Matchbox. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my first toy video. This is Voltron, Defender of the Universe. I've had this toy in my collection for some time now. This is not my original one. I did have to find this. I think I found this one on OfferUp, and... I did have the original one that I grew up on, but lost it. This one is stamped 80, I believe it's 82. And most of them have that sticker that you see there. That's the red lion. I'm gonna put it together for you all so you can see what the process is on when it forms into a robot. I had a hard time uh, focusing but uh, there it is this is a 8081 uh, made in japan so if you want to look them up on ebay you can type them type in voltron 1981 and you'll find this this set right here the this one not the most complete uh the chrome's kind of faded the color on some of these are also a little faded, like the, the red, the green, the yellow, blue, and black. But I just wanted to have one. I wasn't being picky. I, I'll, I'll actually have another set of these lions. And I'm not sure why I ended up buying another set. But this is the one that I kind of tend to keep around with the laser on in my little home office so this is the arm that's how you put the the legs you fold them in inwards that way this is the uh, green lion and same same process you're gonna fold the legs in inwards that way kind of you tuck them in and when you attach it to the black lion you'll see why they need to be that way and you got to be careful with these uh, toys. They've been around for a few years now, so the plastic and some of these joints are a little delicate. So I tend to be delicate with them. That yellow button you see there actually pops the, the head off, kind of like a missile. That's what it was meant to be, and it still works. This is the blue lion. This is actually the, the leg. This is gonna be the left. Well, if you're looking at the lion, it's gonna be the left leg, but it would be the right leg for the actual robot. And these, you definitely have to do the legs a certain way, just the way you see it there, so it can be flat on the ground like that so when you put it on the ground it's going to be completely flat so it can balance out and the robot can actually stand once again you tuck the, the legs in like that which it'll, it allows it to be flush against the body and there there you go again that one sticker i think this one i think this one does say 81 and the GB36 also helps you find one on eBay if you want to look for one. Voltron GB36. So that's the blue lion there. Here's the yellow lion. You push the head in that direction so it can kind of help you tuck the legs in. And there you go again. You can see it's flat. 
Use the other side. There you go. Flat. And tuck in the other ones. Not rocket science, but whoever designed this toy was a genius. It worked out great. So this is the um, the left leg of the of the robot, but if you're looking at it directly in front of it, it's the right one. There's the other sticker, 81. I think I was wrong on this one. I think my other set says 83 or something like that. So let's work on the black line. This is my favorite one of the bunch. It's missing its sticker there that says number one on the top there. And this one has a star belt on it. Some of them have a diamond. There's a sticker for that one. And actually where that sticker is, it's a type of um, metal, it's not plastic. Most of this toy is actually plastic. Except for I think the red line is metal, along with the, um, the legs, the blue and the yellow. But for the black line, a big chunk of it is just plastic. So you can see the legs tuck in. They have these little, um, doors the compartment where you tuck the legs in is the front legs and that little door actually broke off so it's missing half of it and then you can actually turn this uh, i believe it's 360 degree turn on these um that part so you can actually turn it to where the red matches the chest there and then you put those legs facing down so you can connect the legs just like that so yeah the yellow will go if you're looking at it the yellow goes to the right the blue goes to the left and they typically just snap in once it's snapped in it will stay there and it will not fall off if the springs that are in there uh, are damaged or no good, the legs will not stick to the the legs of the black line and they just will fall off. So, as you can imagine, the amount of play time these, these, this toy had when it was mid 80s, probably had a few hours of play time for whoever, whatever kid owned this at the time. And for the condition that it's in, it's not too bad. And so for this one, the green line goes on the right, the red line goes on the left. That's if you're looking at the lion. And then you put the black lion's head down like this. You open its mouth and there's the face. And then you adjust those. I think they were, I'm not sure what the purpose for those things are. Maybe an antenna of some sort. And it has wings in the back. So you can, you would adjust them facing up. And this particular, um, or this toy actually has a sword. Voltron carries a sword with them which I do not have. It's a big, big sword, chrome, and um, when it has it on there, it's pretty, pretty cool. And I think this one measures around 12, uh, around 12 inches in height. And like I said, if you are able to have a good one, it'll stay up like this without having to prop it against anything. So that's, the Voltron 1981 version. One of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hear there's a movie coming out. Or they're trying to have a movie come out. A live action. Kind of like the Transformers. So 
we'll see. Cross your fingers. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's just something I've been wanting to post for a while. This is my Wolfcon. It's in my office, home office. Thanks, guys.